Let's start off with the dictionary definition of a variable. In computer programming, a variable, also called a scalar, is a storage address paired with an associated symbolic name, which contains a known or unknown quantity of information, often referred to as a value. So how exactly do you go about writing a variable? As you can see here, we have the keyword var, V-A-R, followed by a name for the variable. These two elements are required when declaring a variable. However, keep in mind that you can also assign a value to your variable, but this is optional. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at an example. In the first example, we have the variable player health and we assign it the literal integer 100. However, we can also just declare this as variable player health without assigning it any value. And this is acceptable. Let's go ahead and take a look at typed variables. You may add a data type explicitly by adding a colon symbol followed by the data type. Let's take a look at two examples. There are two ways to declare a typed variable. You can either declare a type variable with or without assigning it a value. Declaring data types on variables is usually good practice as it leaves less room for confusion on the purpose of the specific variable. Assigning a value that is not the declared type will throw an error. Let's go ahead and take a look at this example. We have a variable text with the data type string and we are trying to assign it the integer literal value 10. In GDScript, if we were to do this, this will throw an error. In GDScript, values assigned to a typed variable must have a compatible type. If you need to coerce a value to be a certain type, use the casting operator as. Let's take a look at some common examples you may find yourself running into when using GDScript. In the first example, we have a variable text typed string, and we are trying to assign it the value 10. However, it can only accept string values. So what we do is we type the casting operator as, spelled A-S, followed by the data type we want to convert it to. In this case, we want to convert our integer value 10 into a string. By doing this, we will avoid throwing an error at the same time we will get the results we want. In this case, we want to turn 10 into a string. In the next example, we have a variable num with the data type integer, and we are trying to assign it the string value 10. Normally, this would throw an error. However, because we're using the casting operator as followed by the data type we want to convert it to, we will again avoid throwing an error in GDScript. In this case, GDScript will return the string value 10 as an integer 10. So now our variable num has the assigned value integer 10. Let's go ahead and take a look at our last example. Here we have a variable called num float and we've assigned it the data type float. Now what you see here is that we have the integer value 10 and we want to convert that into a float and assign that new value into numfloat. Next we'll take a look at some of the common data types you'll find yourself using. In the first example we have a variable, a number, with the integer data type. In the second example we have a variable, a boolean, and we've assigned it, the data type boolean to it with the assigned value true. In the third example, we have a variable, a string, with the data type string, with the assigned value, hi friend. In the last example, we have the variable, a float, with the data type float, and it has been assigned the value, negative 12.0. In GDScript, you may also assign an object that is the subtype of the cast type. Let's take a look at this example. In this example, we have a variable myNode 2D, and it has the type of node 2D, and we have assigned it a sprite. Normally, assigning a sprite to a variable with the cast type node 2D will throw an error. However, since sprite is a subtype of node 2D, we can use the casting operator as to convert our sprite into node 2D. So as you can see here, we have the sprite 
followed by the word as, followed by the data object we want to convert it to, in this case, no2d. Again, since Sprite is a subtype of no2d, this line will work. Now that we've gone through everything, this is the actual format allowed when declaring a variable. You need the first two elements shown here in yellow in order to declare a variable. However, everything in parentheses is optional. It's optional to have a data type, and it's optional to assign a value to your variable. You can have both, or you can do either or. Again, these are optional, and the main requirement when declaring a variable is the keyword var, spelled V-A-R, followed by a name for the variable. Lastly, you should use variables when you have data in your game or program that needs to change over its lifetime. A common example would be player health. As you notice in most games, a player health will change over the course of the lifetime of the game. This is a good example of when to use variables. Well, that's all I have for you in this episode.